Um, here we have Simon Bohm. Hello again. He's brought in uh, some pieces he's been working in for the Super Marionation Collection. Uh, we wanted to do this particular piece for a while. It is uh, Parker and Penelope from the Vault of Death episode. Now, um, in front of me, I've got two examples of uh, uh, Parker, the safe cracker. One is the press shot. There, as you can see, a rather different looking safe. Now, are we doing this one? No, we're not doing that one. We are doing this one. Now, this one is actually as Jerry intended it to look, which is the one he filmed, the one that actually exists in the Vault of Death. Now, we had to make that clear, because if we do put this together, I know a lot of you are going to assume that we would have done the first yeah. shot one. And they, yeah. they do differ. If you watch well, they're the, quite different, aren't they? Absolutely. You don't have to pick that up, sorry. It's all right. I'm going to have a good look at it You're going to have a good look at it yourself. <laughs> yeah. no. Now, size actually uh, put together the one that we've, we've chosen that actually from the DVD itself. So I'm just going to <clears> move <throat> on forward to it. Now, this is Penelope in the wax. Uh, obviously, she will be fully painted when we actually make it, but this is one component. Now, then, if uh, Cy would like to fetch Parker. Now, we've chosen this time round, rather than uh, putting them in situ on one huge cumbersome base, we've decided to uh, make all three elements uh, separate. Now, if you can see the, the pose there, you've got Parker urging forwards, basically listening to the safe door. Now, if Cy picks up the safe door. Now this is mounted on the board so it's going to be a little bit yeah, tricky to emphasize yeah. but if I just I move mean, the camera fit. and you can see, snuggle up together. That's it. You can, you can, you can, you can uh, see that when you when you actually uh, put the pieces together you can actually set the scene yourself. Yeah. Uh, and, and I think there's a bit more freedom when you can put the pieces just yeah, where you want. You I know he's got a natural belonging but I think that's a, lot, a different way of doing it. So yeah. that's what we're trying to achieve there. And I think it's not far off. I still think there's some teasing. It's yeah, there's a few little bits and bobs. Obviously, they've still got the that's it. sort of main panel of the door yeah, that's it. to finish off. Got an early stage of it there. Obviously, that's still got to be worked on. And of course, there's nothing more attractive than a nice metal safe door. No. And I say that, but it should look really nice. It should yeah, look very metal. Yeah. I mean, and also the reason we've chosen to do this again is we don't want to do a really big, heavy, cumbersome piece when it's not necessary. We yeah, think that, obviously with three... Yeah. two figures as well as that you know, it's going to be sort of out yeah. there isn't it yeah we think we can get the wit of the piece with, within that yeah so no I'm very pleased with that but again not this one if we pull it like that that one not that one no <laughs> we don't really know what that is in the in the middle but it doesn't look anything like a safe door does it looks like something akin to Blake 7 more yeah it does look else. a bit spaceship but it, yes it? more this is very very 1960s orientated looking scene there so that's what we're doing and if you look in the distance, you can see where we're going. Yeah, great stuff. Nice one. Brilliant.